Mania Susri Dola Senji, Che Mirat, six minutes, please. Thank you, Deputy Chairman, sir. Thanks to my party, All India Trinamool Congress, for giving me chance to speak on this bill. I hope that I and all of the members will, allow, will be allowed to speak and carry out our duty in scrutinizing this bill. In the 17th Lok Sabha, a total of 221 bills were passed, of which one third were passed with less than a 60 minute discussion. In the 15th Lok Sabha, seven out of 10 bills were sent to committees for scrutiny. In the 17th Lok Sabha, only two out of 10 bills were sent for scrutiny. The 18th Lok Sabha is an opportunity for the union government to start afresh. Let us not allow for it to be a repeat of 17th Lok Sabha. We have to be democratic, sir. Sir, the government's intent to update this bill for today's markets is good. Many of the speakers today will talk in depth about the bill. I want to highlight some macro issues. India continues to import more than 85% of its crude oil needs and 50% of its natural gas needs. This dependency is projected to only rise as democratic production continues to fall. Our crude oil imports from Russia in June 2024 surpassed that of June 2023. In August 2024, net imports for oil and gas escalated to $11.4 billion from $9 billion. This is no surprise considering PSUs like ONGC and OIL reported lower outputs. Domestic production of indigenous crude oil fell by 3%, while imports increased by 6.4%. The refining sector also showed a 1.9% decrease in total crude oil processed in August 2024. Our petroleum reserves can only provide cover for only 9.5 days of the national demand. If a crisis were to strike tomorrow, we would have no resources, sir, but only long pending bills. So unfortunate, sir. Another thing, sir, I want to mention to protest the profitable PSUs like public sector undertakings like Indian Oil, Bharat Petroleum are in the list of disinvestment of the Union government's Big Sit Bharat scheme. Earlier this year, the government saved $25 billion by importing Russian crude oil at discounted prices. This was welcomed as a great move that would finally give us some relief from rising prices domestically. Sir, not a single penny of this was used to benefit the people. Domestic prices continued to remain high day after day. Instead, the oil was sold to private refineries in Europe, translating to profit margins for a select few private entities. We don't understand who is the government, union government working for. In November 2024, the price of international crude oil was $73 per barrel. At the same time, the price of petrol in the domestic market was rupees 95 per liter. Compare this to 2014, sir. The price of international crude oil was $78 per barrel, and that of petrol was rupees 64 per liter. If the government could regulate prices then, why wouldn't they now? We are observing that the international crude prices, prices are down and down, 2014 onwards. But I don't know, we don't know, why is the government, Union Government of India, making the citizens pay higher prices for petrol domestically, increasing day by day, astonishing and shameful, sir. In the last five years, only 5% of subsidies and investments have been in green energy. India is in no position to achieve its net zero emissions targets by 2030. As per projections, achieving this target could be delayed by at least a decade. Experts believe that India's relationship with markets beyond the Middle East have weakened, leading to volume shrinkage. There is no diversification of supply. If geopolitics demands were to change, sir, again in the future, India would be very vulnerable to rapid fluctuations. Why is the government putting us in this position, sir? One more important policy matter, sir, I want to mention. The region where oil fields are being detected, 
the densely populated areas common people must get rehabilitation accordingly and damage and benefits for being evicted as per law it may be tribal area also tribal area even sir forest right act must be maintained there we want to see human face on behalf of the union government in this respect and union government must follow the law of the land as per constitution in this regard sir the government needs to do better today retail inflation reached a 14 month high at 6.2% in october four out of 10 youth are unemployed sir the average cost of It's making meals has subject. increased by 52% in the last one year while the salaries have grown around please 10% be, only on the in the last one year while the, the salaries have grown around 10% only i urge upon the union government to work for the people and with the people the union government should be of the people for the people by the people as per constitution for we the people of india sir thank, thank you. you thank you